Previously on Clarity. Say, are you Clarity the visualizer? How'd you recognize me? Smart guy. I got a proposition for you. Guess this coffee break might take longer than I thought. I'm all ears. Well, my website is just a mess. I'm not even sure what pages I have anymore, how they're linked up, and nothing is just awful. Can you visualize something so as I can see what I got and fix it up? Then I'll help you out with some information. I'm intrigued. What kind of information? Eh, people come in here, you know, and they talk. I can't help but hear when they're sitting two feet away. Sometimes they talk about you, and uh, it's real interesting. Now, are you going to help me? Sure. You got a computer with Visio on it? Yeah, sure. Follow me. It's in the back room. I'll get the website map set up for you so you can see all the pages and files on the site and how they're connected. It'll be up to you to fix everything. We go to the file menu, new. Network, Website Map. When you start the diagram from this template, it'll go out to the web, analyze the site, and generate a site map for you. First thing it does is ask you for the URL for the site. I'll just type that in. You click this Settings button to tell it what kind of files to get, how many levels to analyze, and so on. I'll just leave the defaults. When you click OK, Visio goes to the site, it checks the files and validates the links. Then it lays everything out so you can see how your site is organized. And there it is. Let's zoom in for a closer look. These red X's are broken links. There are two windows collapsed along the side of the diagram. The filter window, where the files are organized by file type. You can remove files from the view if you're only interested in certain types. And the list window, where the page elements are organized hierarchically in alphabetical order. Let's say you want to focus on a specific web page. Here's how you do it. You select it, you go up to the website map menu, view, page centric. Visio opens a new page that's centered on your selected file showing the connections in and out. Another way to focus on certain sections is to break the site map into subpages. For example, let's say you want to handle this events area by itself. Right click the top file for the branch, then click Make Subpage. Bang, there it is. This off page connector links it back to the main page. You double click it to go there. On the main page, there's now a placeholder shape with an off page connector that takes you to the subpage or you can use the page tabs down at the bottom to navigate around. Now Visio can create reports in various formats. On the website map menu, click reports. You can run these three built-in reports and you can customize them by clicking modify and going through this wizard. You specify your criteria. I'll let you handle that. After you click run, select the format you want for the report. Excel. HTML, a shape on the diagram, or XML. It's up to you to reorganize the pages and files. Or you can start from scratch and design a new site before you build it. Now I must confess my curiosity is piqued. What are people talking about these days? Some people think you're starting to go a little. They're getting kind of concerned, if you know what I mean. They don't understand why you're making some of those strange shapes that don't look or behave like ordinary shapes. Well, that's it. I always tell them you know what you're doing. Thanks for letting me know. How much do I eat for the coffee? Oh, don't worry. That's on the house. I wonder what she meant by that. Maybe like that strange rain cloud I saw. It's a world with a lot of moving parts. Things will just happen. Still, I'll keep my eyes open. Long day today. If Kate's still in the office, maybe she'll go to that exhibit. I could use a little relaxation.